being here. Um, definitely thank Dean from the Times News for being here. Uh, basketball coach, uh, I definitely want to say thank you to Coach Barnes and all his hard work. Um, coaching basketball is not easy. Um, you know, I've, I've known since I was 10 years old I wanted to be a basketball coach and gave my life to it. Um, and it is not easy. And I learned that, and especially in college. Um, you know, you, you hear people bad mouthing Coach K. And I was at a Final Four game a year ago, and KU fans were walking in talking bad about Bill Self. And I'm like, man, is anybody a good coach? Like, like if they're not a good coach, how, how am I going to be a good coach? But it's a it's a very difficult profession. Um, when Coach Barnes stepped down, um, you know, I, I, I didn't know you know what would happen, and, and I knew we needed a good coach, um, and so. I'm just going to tell you a little bit about uh, Coach Jones. Um, he, I, I've known him for the past 13 years. Uh, he's from Jackson, Tennessee, which is near Memphis. Um, he was, uh, I, I played at Limestone College uh, from 95 to 99. And, um, you know, I kept up with the program when I left. And Coach Erfoli, who was the head coach at the time, Kept talking. Every time I talked to him, or I'd look up online, Marquinez Jones, Marquinez Jones, Marquinez Jones. Um, he was a great player. He was a great player at Limestone. Um, he scored over 1,200 points. But what made Coach Jones Q, as what he goes by, um, what made what makes him special is an unbelievable leader. He. Is an influencer. He he's a motivator. He he's just amazing. And he was my assistant coach at Limestone for the eleven years that I was the head coach. And we 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 worked as a partnership. Um, he did everything. He did everything. He's the most selfless person I've ever been around. He loves basketball. He lives and breathes it. Um, you know, we, we worked a, a five-star basketball camp, which at the time was one of the biggest camps in the country. You know, we coached John Wall and Chris Paul and Kevin Durant, and we, we got to be exposed to the best in the business. And so he's coached great players. Um, while at Limestone, his main job was as a, well, he did everything, but he, he mentored our guys. and. He trained them, he mentored them, he uh, led them, he, he, he did everything. And, you know, I don't, I don't know, in the 11 years, uh, I think we had seven or eight guys play professionally overseas. Um, we had a guy in the G League, which is just a step below the NBA. Um, and Q was just a huge part of all their lives. And, and as you get to know him, you will get to see that. Um, and I say this humbly, the next 100 years, and I believe it with all my heart, um, East Henderson could, never, could potentially never get to hire the resume that we have just hired. Um, he still has colleges all over the country calling him, offering him assistant Division II jobs. He turned down seven already. Um, he is connected to every low Division One and Division Two program in South Carolina, North Carolina, Georgia, every single one of them, and most of them in Florida. Um, he's an unbelievable relationship guy. He can step into so many different rooms and connect to people. Um, he is so humble, so giving. He is a phenomenal teacher of the game. Uh, He's a fantastic communicator. He is great at player development. 
and he creates an environment. This is what, because as a coach, I was always more of a jerk. Um, and, and I knew that, and I, well, I learned that. I didn't know that at the beginning. Um, but when I disciplined guys, guys knew they were being disciplined. When I ran a practice and we were working hard, they knew they were working hard. When I was unhappy with them, they knew I was unhappy with them. And Coach Jones had this unbelievable ability to connect with them in a way where they're working hard and they don't even realize it because they're having so much fun. And he's just amazing. And in my 20 years as a professional, I've never met anyone like him. Anyone. Um, he is my brother. He is a part of my family. My, my kids, my wife, like we, we just love him. And he's my best friend. And I'm so thankful and appreciative that he is willing to come up here and, and invest into all our kids at East, but specifically our basketball program. Um, and that don't mean I, I'm what how I'm looking at it because even watching this year, you know, my brain's always thinking, you know, how, if I was a coach, how many games would we win? You know, what, what would I be doing? And you know, and I and I thought to myself, you know, if I was the coach, you know, I don't know how many games it would have changed winning. Um, but really, at the end of the day, we shouldn't be judging, especially high school athletics like that. It, it is about the experience. It is about learning about yourself and how to relate to other people. And it's about teamwork. It, it, it is about losing yourself for the greater good because that skill will, can carry a lifetime. It can make you a lot of money in business, and it can create a home as a husband and a dad. And that's what we always focused on, and that's what he'll, he'll focus on. And, and so what I know he's gonna do is he's gonna start investing immediately into the relationships. Um, he's going to make sure we're playing hard all the time, competing and that we're playing together, That's, that matters. Basketball is a different kind of sport where you, you gotta be good on offense as a team and you gotta be good on defense as a team. And offense, not everybody has the same role, you can. But on defense, we all have the same mindset. And so investing, uh, competing, and then just caring about each other. But um, with that being said, it is my pleasure to introduce the next head basketball coach at East Henderson, Marquinhos Jones. Well, thanks, Coach. That was impressive. Um, <laughs> I won't bore you with all my accolades and what I've done because it's not about me. It's about uh, you guys, for sure. Um, but first and foremost, I would like to thank uh, Principal Taylor, uh, Principal Bradley, and Coach Guy. Uh, just for the opportunity to uh, be, become a Nick head coach here uh, at East. I know this, um, this place is special. I've heard a lot about um, the East and all good things. The last two days I've been in training and everybody uh, speak highly of East. So uh, that's a testament to uh, you and your, your family Secondly, I'm just excited. I'm excited. Uh, I've never been a high school coach. Uh, like Coach said, I've been uh, the college ranks for 13 years. Um, so it's going to be different for me. But uh, I'm so excited to get to work and, and, and meet you and your family individually and, and collectively. Um, and also, I just want to go over a few things that's important to me. Uh, I just want to continue uh, and or implement into our uh, basketball program. Uh, this upcoming year. The first thing I put, not in any particular order, but I put uh, just having a positive family environment. That's something that's important to me. Uh, you know, 
sometimes, you know, people, you know, make fun of people. Uh, you're not as good as him, or you're just giving shit all the ball. We want to have a good, positive environment every day where we treat each other right on and off the court. So that's very, very important to me. Uh, and uh, second, just uh, having a good work ethic. Uh, no matter where you are, uh, we want to compete. We want to compete. That's going to be a word I use a lot. You got to compete. And what I mean by that, um, not only on the court, but in the classroom, um, in the weight room, wherever you are, we want to give our best effort, you know, no matter what each and every day, to just to get better as a student, as a, as a person, and also as a player. So that's very, very important to me. Um, which I know uh, I want to continue this, because I know you guys have been great, great people here at the East. So I want to continue that, uh, that great relationship that we have with the community. Uh, no matter where we are, uh, lunchroom maybe, and uh, library every day, and uh, at sporting events, we want to carry carry ourselves the right way no matter where we are, uh, around campus, around the uh, community. So we want to have a good record, a representation of uh, East basketball, uh, just like I will, and I will uh, hold you guys accountable to that. So uh, it's important, it's important uh, to me. Um, Lastly, uh, I don't wanna talk too much because I can ramble off, but I'm 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 excited. I'm very, very excited uh, to not only you know, coach you and mentor you and be there for you um, throughout this year, but uh, I'm excited to earn your trust as a as a coach. Uh, it's important to me. Uh, I, I don't want you to uh, give me the benefit of the doubt. I wanna earn my respect from the players and also parents. That's very, very important to me. So um, yeah, I'm very, very relational. I'm very, very fun to be around. Um, I'm sure you guys would love the the energy I bring every day uh, to practice, to games. Uh, and what Coach said was wrong with one thing. Sorry, Coach. He said I, I was a good player back in the day. I can still play. So. <laughs> <laughs> I, would, I, I would love to you know, play some one-on-one -on -one with you guys. I, that's something I do and I enjoy doing. And that's uh, a good buffer for me to you know, learn the game a little bit and work you out and play with you a little bit. So, uh, so Coach, sorry. To, to <laughs> that, so, uh, I'm excited, man. So thank you for being here tonight. I know you guys and uh, have a lot going on, but uh, I'm very, very ecstatic and honored to be the head coach here at least. Thank you.